Okay, I'm trying a Zwerber burger, which has peanut butter in it. Okay, it's got grilled onions, pickles, lettuce, Good. peanut butter. First time I've ever had it. Once you get a bite get with bite. the peanut butter and like the burger and then the pickles and the onions yeah. and everything, yeah. it makes a huge difference because the first bite was only like peanut butter and meat. But it's actually really good. I'm like really, really surprised. Like you'd order it again. I would order it again. It's actually really good. into these sweet potato fries. This is the best sauce I've ever had in my life. I don't know what it is. It is good. It's like smoky. It's like a chipotle mayo. Like a chipotle mayo. <laughs> Some jalapeno poppers. Even better now that they cooled down a little bit. This is definitely a messy burger. <laughs> wow, that's really good. I love the burgers here. It's like sweet and savory. Which is weird because I normally don't like sweet and savory together. But it's really good. I think what it is that like the meat makes this so much better. It's like you can taste like it's fresh. <laughs> yeah, there's good. Good onions. I love those onions. I don't have a problem with that. left I am beyond stuffed and I didn't even finish my burger it was so freaking good but the peanut butter fills you more. yeah the peanut butter just it was it was really really good I'm not gonna lie it was really really good but I just got super full really really full like ugh, full how was your burger very good as always 
Justin it's ordered. Super hot too. Like <laughs> I got the grill hot. Justin ordered a range burger, which is basically like a like a regular burger with like cheese, sauce. onions, pickles, lettuce. But then went and took off the onions, pickles, and lettuce, and just ate the burger with cheese. Why are you like this? starting to question everything now <laughs> just kidding um yeah so if you ever like want to try the peanut butter burger here it's called the goober burger it was really good i definitely would recommend it if you're feeling adventurous and you're like oh i want to try something different it's not something that like oh excuse me <laughs> that every time we come i'm gonna be like oh i really want the goober burger like no but it is one of those things where i was like oh that was really good things where you'd be like yeah i would get that again at some point yeah like if like at some point if i was like oh feeling a little adventurous again like i definitely would get it but it's not one of those like oh that's gonna be my burger like that's still gonna be the one that i get i think my favorite burger from there has been uh the gamora which comes with like this really good sauce cheese bacon jalapenos and it was so freaking spicy but it was so freaking good I think that one by far, and then the regular open range burger mm -hmm. the is, burger. I think, where I would like be like, those are like my go tos. We're going, I want to have that. Prairie Fire is my second. Look, are they having like a little yard sale? No, that's just the way that one looks. Oh, I got excited for nothing, you guys. Um, so I'm trying to convince Justin that we should go to the crafting show, but I also have to pee, so. And we went to Walmart as well today. So maybe he'll take me. And if he takes me, I'll take you with. And then we can all go together and share in the crafting fair. I don't know, vibes. All right, I'll let you know. I have to go pee and we're almost home. So I'll let you know what this one decides, whether or not we're going. This one feels nice. Come on. Come on. Oh, your eyes look so pretty in the sun. Intrigued by that stick. Mm. We got two paws out. If anybody's wondering why we're trying to entice a cat to go outside, even though she's an indoor cat, it's because we want to take her on hikes and stuff. And we're trying to get her to come outside. Oh, oh, oh we got all four paws. We got all four paws. Oh, such a good girl. Such a good girl. She's like, there's a lot of smells out here. I think she likes it more now that it's not snowy. Because I think this is as far as she came out when it was snowing, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, she had She's all like, alright, I'm done. She had all four out. She's like, I'm, I'm, I'm done, guys. That was enough for today. She's like, I'm, I'm good. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go back inside now. We went to Walmart, picked a few things. First, we went through the clearance section because if you go to Walmart and you go don't go through the clearance section, I don't know what you're doing. 
we got this because we just got a diffuser. So you can see the price tag. There's a 1387. Oh, 1887. And we're like, okay, you know, it has a lot of them. It has a little pouch, clearance, cool. I went to pay. This was five dollars. This whole thing. Um, Better Homes and Gardens, five bucks. Then we found these which are only a dollar and regular price are like almost four like four bucks so we ended up getting two because i mean you can never have enough body wash there's only two left yeah and then justin got this which is a man the suave men three in one citrus rush saloon proven da -da -da. he uses this as body wash it's not good shampoo or conditioner it's not but it's good but body wash it's good body wash and, and it smells good it smells really good it smells kind of like, I don't it's know. It's sage and citrus. Yeah. That's not <laughs> what it says here. It's a citrus rush. Oh, citrus rush. It's and a sage and really citrus. Good. And because I have like my eczema thing going on, I only use Aveeno because it doesn't have like fragrances and stuff. And I use this one. It's almost nine bucks and it's 33 ounces. She a big boy. Um, and this one soothes itchy and dry skin. So it's just skin relief one. I like the bottle though. Mm -hmm. And then I got this Gillette Satin Care because I wanted to shave my legs, but the last time I did it with soap um, and it wasn't didn't go too well for me. So I got this and then I got some Aussie Miracle Curls because my hair is curly and sometimes I little, need a little mousse to kind of define. Justin got these for his contacts because I guess he likes to change them once a month when he gets new ones. And then for the beastie, we got some of these. She already tried it and I probably will insert a clip of that somewhere after this. But um, they were 75 cents. They're little lick lickable treats. She really enjoyed them. So that might be something that we might get for her soon. And then of course, life. Main we reason. got toilet paper. Main reason for going. Yeah. This was the most expensive purchase in the entire trip, was this toilet paper. But I gotta wipe my butt and I'm not gonna use a reusable one. So, that was our little haul. So, best. Like <laughs> best thing ever. <laughs> Guys. We ended up not going to the craft fair. Justin said that we might go tomorrow. Tell the people why we didn't go. We didn't see anything there. The place where it said that it was at, there was like nothing there. Um, so I don't know what happened. <laughs> but um, I'm going to try and go tomorrow because it says that they're doing like a bunch of stuff. And I like craft fairs. So I'm going to maybe put this video on pause and try and get some footage for tomorrow. Just so that it all kind of makes sense with the um craft fair stuff but we spent the rest of the afternoon um making a puzzle um i'll insert like a little clip of it at the end but um it's basically a 500 piece rapunzel um it's the tangled, tangled but it's rapunzel yeah, right. but it's the scene in tangled when they're in the boat looking at the lantern so it was really tricky the last part was the lantern part and how annoying was that so now we're sitting here watching Live PD. So I'll keep you updated. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to go to the craft fair because I really want to go. Uh, walk around for a little while. Plus it's supposed to be nice tomorrow. So yeah. And then I have to go to work on Sunday. So hopefully tomorrow. But I will keep you guys updated. Oh, and I started doing a puzzle last night. It's the Rapunzel one. Got this one. It comes with four. And I'm currently doing this one. Which is really hard because it has a bunch of tiny, tiny, tiny little scenes going on everywhere. So we found Rapunzel and Flynn. We have all the outside. I did all of this last night. And then... That's pretty much it. Not too bad for like an hour and a half. 
500 pieces. I'll let you know how this goes. So far, this is what we have.